Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Tuesday and I'm going to do hopefully just a quick little video because I'm short on time today. My kids had a two hour delay for school, which I didn't mind because it's so nice to sleep till 7.30 instead of 5.30, but so now it's kind of cut my day short. And I am so excited about going to New York next week. I leave this weekend and I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm actually meeting Sheila Fajal there. And so her and I are going to just do as much as we can do. And so that's part of this video I wanted to do. It's gonna be a couple of things, just kind of like a chit chat video. But my mom has been concerned, my mom and dad are concerned about me being so cold because they go to New York a lot, and she says, my mom just says, you know, it's a cold like I've never felt. I think the coldest I've ever felt is when I went to Indiana one time for Christmas, and I could not believe how cold it was. I couldn't believe how it just like cut right through you. So, I think I'm going to order a down coat. I also texted uh, Dara, the Belle du Jour NYC, and um, she gave me some advice. So... I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about what I look like. I'm just going to do the best I can at keeping warm and keeping comfortable. But what I would like from you, if you don't mind, is any advice you'd like to give me on things to wear. I am going to take my, today I'm wearing my fry boots. I had to buy socks yesterday. Let me cut this off. My mom bought me a couple pair of socks. And so I am going to wear socks with my boots. I'm going to take, I wore my David Pliner boots, the tall ones yesterday. And I'm going to try to wear those a couple more times this week because because I'm not used to wearing a long, heavy boot like that. My just thighs, the tops of my legs were killing me last night. But I think it's just because, you know, you walk different. But I am very used to these fry boots. But I don't know if they're going to be as warm. But I think that's the two I'm going to take. And I know that I can just, I'm not even going to worry about taking any heels. I'm not going to worry. I'm really not going to worry about my appearance because I'm going there to see and not to be seen but you know you want to feel decent so, so and this is just a black trench that I've had I mean it's I don't know if it can be considered vintage or not but I've had it since I was probably about 23 or 24 and uh, so I pulled it out to wear today because I wanted something long because it is cold here colder than we're used to I think it's 30 degrees right now and um, we're having you know the ice threats and all that kind of stuff so I'm getting a little taste of it yesterday my mom and I went shopping a little bit and there's they've already sent our coats away here at our stores and they've got bikinis and bathing suits in so there was nothing really out there for me to get so that was one of the things I wanted to just ask you is for those of you that either live in New York or have visited a lot when it's cold you know we are going to be just seeing as much as we can see. I'm going to be going to that market, of course. I'm going to be going out to dinner every night. Um, you know, nothing fancy, but I want to be, the main thing is I want to be comfortable and warm. So if you could give me your advice on that. Um, and I wanted to show you just a couple of things I got this week um, from, or I got last weekend. And then that seems like there was something else. Oh, you will not be able to see it very well because I had to put my overhead light on. But this is that Clinique foundation, the one that is a foundation and concealer in one. Yesterday when I was at Dillard's, the Clinique girl was just so helpful. She gave me a sample of the Golden, is it Golden Neutral? I believe that's what it's called. And I do like it. So, I mean, it's really pretty. Now, is it as pretty as my Laura Mercier? No. But for those of you, I'm always thinking about finding something for those of you that say the Laura Mercier is too heavy or for some reason you don't like it. But what I really want to say is if you think the Laura Mercier silk cream is too heavy, I think you're putting on too much. And I think you're not using the right kind of brush because really I buff that Laura Mercier out to almost nothing. And I only use just like that much. So that still is my favorite. And you know, the other day I had on just my Rachel K and the Laura Mercier powder. That is probably my favorite favorite. The only thing that, the only negative about that is one, it takes longer because you have to really buff 
and work on, you know, it just takes longer than a liquid does. And I really enjoy using the Laura Mercier Silk Cream because I can go all around my eyes and my eyelids and it just creates such a good base. I barely have to wear any concealer. So that's just, you know, something about that that I really like. And I have ordered backups of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream. I think I have three backups in case the formula changes. And, you know, I know that I like that so much. But anyway, so this is a really pretty finish. It's um, very natural. It's not too matte. Um, I've got the Laura Mercier over it, and I just used like a Dior bronzer for contour, and I used my NARS palette today, that dual intensity palette. Oh, it's so pretty. And like today, I kind of wanted that little bit of a grungy, just kind of worn in look, and that gives it to you perfectly. It is so, I love it. It's such a good palette if you like dark colors like today I used that dark brown and then a little bit of the black and it was so good so that's something I wanted to mention um, Rachel one of my subscribers Glammy Texas sent me a Valentine's Day gift she sent me this these pads of paper which I love I'll put this in my kitchen because it will go so well in there and then a nice Valentine's Day card and then this I love this I hope you always have a shell in your pocket and sand in your shoes. And that is so true. <laughs> Will always has sand in his pockets too. <laughs> it's so funny when I wash his, his jeans aren't as bad, but like in the summer when he has like his cargo shorts on, it's hilarious what is in that outside pocket and his jacket pockets. I think from just playing on the playground, but you know, rocks, everything, it's hilarious. Brooke always has lipstick in hers. But um, I love that. And I think what I'm, I think gonna what do I'm actually going to do is probably set this on my screened-in porch. I just love it. So thank you, Rachel. She's so sweet. And just the support of you guys just means so much. You are my buddies. I mean, you're my friends. I have, you know, best friends, lifelong friends. But we're all married with children and, you know, husbands. And we're busy. And... You know, I've never been the type to just like have girls night or something. And you know, this is my girls time. So you guys are just really important to me. So thank you, Rachel. And then my friend Lori sent me these for Valentine's and they are pillowcases. And I don't know if I've ever mentioned this to you guys, but I love so many different little quirky things, but I love pillowcases and I like weird ones. I don't care if they don't match my bed. My, I would rather them not because my sheets are usually just always off white or something like that. But I love, like I've got some zebra ones, I've got some satin ones, not zebra, they're leopard, they're cream leopard. I've got um, some with the, this real pretty turquoise kind of star snowflake type thing and one reason I like to have different pillowcases is because I'm, we're both John and I are particular about our pillows. We have to have this kind of pillow on the bottom, this kind of pillow on the top, you know, and so it helps when you're getting, you know, making your bed and then getting it ready to sleep. So I love these and I wanted to show them to you so I could wash them and put them on my bed and wash my sheets and everything. And then the sweet part that she is, she sent me the, I think it's pronounced Vizart or Vizar palette, or just say Vizar, whatever. And she sent me the nude, which I already had, but I am going to probably exchange it for the Paris palette. That's what I have in mind. So thank you so much, Lori. That was so sweet. And I know I use so sweet over, but that was so thoughtful. And I just really appreciate it. It was such a surprise. So, um, the nail polish I have on today is one I wanted to show you guys. I have already gotten so many compliments on this. And it's probably because I was out yesterday doing a little bit of shopping with my mom. But it is the one that Yvette sent me. It's the Formula X Thrilling. And I really like it a lot. It is a really neat color. It's not as pink as the one from Victoria Beckham but it's very close to that same look, and I think a lot of you would like it. So I wanted to tell you that, and oh gosh, what else? Um, I've got on a lip gloss that my friend B sent me. I don't know why, it always seems like I get a lot of packages on Friday and Saturday, and then I don't wanna wait a whole week to tell you, but she sent me this, um, 
Where is it? Sent me it's in my this bathroom, I think. lip gloss, which is it's coming off a little bit darker on camera, probably because I put on a little bit of plumberry. But it is the new, I haven't tried them, it's the new Aqua Lumiere Gloss in Sensible. And it is so pretty. For those of you that like a really pretty peachy pink color, it's just, and it, what a great gift because I cannot imagine anybody that would not like this. It's not too sticky. It's just beautiful. So thank you, B. And uh, she sent me these nail polishes. This is Zoya Nev, N-E-V-E, -E, so I would say Nev. How gorgeous that is. It's that beautiful purpley blue color. These are two Deborah Lipman. This is Knock Hard Not Hard Not Life. And that is a beautiful, like steely gray color. And then this one is gorgeous. It's kind of a it's not as vampy as some of them. It's called Virtual Insanity. I love the way it's got a little bit more of that purpley tone. So I have just gotten the best nail polishes lately. Last night before I got in the shower, I didn't have time to, I knew I'd got, we had done a lot of shipping and stuff lately, and um, I didn't have time to take a shower and do my nails. And then I also wanted to show this to you. So I didn't do the best job at painting them. I was in a hurry, but anyway. Okay, and anything else? So the foundation I showed you, the lip gloss, and most of all, I want you to help me and tell me, you know, your favorite socks, your favorite. I ordered a new pair of leggings that Sheila says that are her favorite and that she is going to wear. But I'm going to hold off until Friday to show you those. I've got to keep some stuff a surprise. And um, I did get a new lippy yesterday from Estee Lauder, but I'll keep that for Friday too. And I guess that's it. My dad is home from work today, and my mom keeps my nine-month-old niece, so I want to be able to have time to go over there, too, and hold her, because just holding that baby, it is like, I told my mom, it is like charging your battery or something. If I'm having just the worst day, I can hold her and it's bringing tears to my eyes. I can just hold her, or she's at that age where she's doing all those funny faces and loves to get your attention, you know, like um, coughing on purpose and doing all this stuff, so I'm looking forward to going over there and seeing her. But I'll do a quick outfit of the day, and then I'll let you go. This I'll be right is back. just, I think it, this is just one of those tops, a long sleeve top that I got from Forever 21. Um, my leggings are some that I might take with me. They're these splendid, and they actually have like a little bit of a fleecy type lining. So I'm wearing these today just to see how you know, so warm they are. hoping that these and the ones I ordered and like my Zella and my Lululemon, you know, and just having on boots will help and socks. And I might order, if any of you know some good um, boot socks, that might be good too. And so that's all I have on today. These are my Fry um, Short Carmen Harness. These are just some of my favorite boots and they're so comfortable and i'm really used to them so that's why i'm thinking i'm probably going to take these two and they it, i've gotten them so wet i think they could just go through anything and um and then this jacket is raffaella brand which is a, i think it might be a i don't know if it's a belts brand or what but um it's just your typical um trench it has a belt and i think i usually tie it like that and i'll go ahead and probably do that because i've got to go out and I, what I love about it is it's very oh it's lined but it's still not bulky so it's a good car coat I forgot I had it um, you know I sent the other one back and I'm just I'm tickled with this one now so this is it okay I zoomed in so that you probably can't see anything but I wanted you to be able to see oh I knew I had another question for you I bought a new brow product yesterday and I'll save it for Friday but I really like it. Um, I, you know, have let my eyebrows grow out and I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually have like those little hairs now that um, you would typically pluck, but they're like right there and then right here. And I kind of like that look. It's just something different and gosh, talk about easy. But it's hard when you want to fill in your brows because you don't know what to do with that whole section. So I have found something that I really like, but if your brows are like mine and you need something, um, to just, you know, do them a little bit. The brow gel works okay, but it's not, 
it is it doesn't do exactly what I need it to do I think this works better and um, so and then you can see the eyeshadow and the foundation and I apologize it's just you can see it's just dreary back there it looks like it's it looks like it's sunny in the camera but it's not it's just I guess the glare from the light but let's see 17 minutes that's not bad so I hope you guys have a good rest of your week I have not forgotten about a tutorial it's just a tutorial tutorial takes the right frame of mind and if I've got a bunch of stuff on my mind and a bunch of stuff to do and not much time it's just I don't think I can do it but what I would like to um, ask you is what palette because I've been asked about the interstellar palette the um, tartlet palette and now I've got the visor or Vizart and the NARS dual intensity so let me know which one you want me to do and I will try to do that maybe um, tomorrow or Thursday if I'm not real rushed I'll try to do that and um, let me know I'll probably do the Laura Mercier silk cream because that's just my favorite so just regular old rhinestones no rings or anything and um, so have a good week and I will see you probably before Friday bye bye